the same fish again? Yeah, it's still got the scar, same thing. Yeah, this is the same fish. I'm, I'm literally on the biggest body of water that planet Earth has to offer. And somehow I caught the same fish that's really kind of blowing my mind, to be honest. One bait, hopefully a future halibut or something bigger, who knows? Fish finder is just lighting up. It's loaded. Put about six of these in this bait tank and then we're gonna go do some fishing. Look at that, four at a time. But these are jack mackerel. These will work too, but if I can get some of the uh, other kind, the Pacific mackerel, I'll definitely prefer those. All right, one, one Pacific mackerel. Perfect bait size. One more, same thing. Hold on, that's a sardine thing better. Okay, we got amazing weather out here on the deep blue today. Slight, ever so slight breeze, but other than that, super flat, super calm. Just a great day to be out on the water. And today we're gonna be doing a few things. First thing we're gonna be doing, we're gonna be doing some commercial fishing. And the last time that I came to this place, man, I lost some big fish. One of them just spit the hook. One of them chewed through the line, which, I don't know if it was a halibut or not, which is what the target is. I feel like it wasn't a halibut because that doesn't typically happen, but whatever it was, I'm, I'm eager to try and find it again today. So we're gonna beef up our line a little bit today just to make sure that that doesn't happen. And then if it does chew through the line again, then we know for sure it's not a halibut. And on top of that, I'm gonna be featuring some new gear that's not even released on the market yet. So I'll show you that in a second. But uh, yeah, first things first, let's retie. So I don't like to use the same rig more than one day. I just feel like, you know, it's that, that line is compromised. You never know what kind of nicks it could get in transportation out here to the, to the water and back. So I like to retie every time. In my opinion, it's best to just be safe, better safe than sorry. So I'm gonna get this retied and uh, or at least the leader portion, the main line, especially braid I think is pretty stable and also my braided main line is a lot heavier than the leader I use so I'm not too worried about the, the main line but the leader the leaders I like to change out almost every trip so anyway that's going to bring me to the first announcement some gear that I'm going to be featuring today that isn't even in stores yet you can't buy it but you can very soon and I'm hoping I can test it out on some big fish today so let me show you that a huge school of bait going underneath me so I'm resisting an epic temptation to drop the sabiki down and catch some more to show you this so that's how important this is but anyways this is the new fluorocarbon that's being released by ahi or promar and if you follow along with the channel you probably know that i'm part of the promar pro staff uh, this year and i've been featuring a bunch of their products and this one is pretty cool it's not even in stores yet but i think may 1st is when you can start getting this at your local retailer. So anyway, I got three different uh, spools here of different sizes. I got 30, 40, and 25. Um, so I'm gonna put some of this heavier stuff on, the 40, because like I said, last time I lost some big fish and I know there's some big fish out here. I lost some big fish and I also caught some big fish. So there's definitely big fish to be had out here. I'm actually looking for the biggest bait possible. I haven't caught it yet, but if I catch some big, probably big mackerel or big smelt, I'm gonna put it down there because I know Whatever it is down there is definitely willing to eat a big bait. You know, a fish that size, in my humble opinion, yes, they will eat the smaller bait sometime, but I feel like a fish that big is looking for a big meal. You know, it doesn't want to waste a lot of energy chasing down a small little peanut or, you know, a little anchovy or something like that. If it's a big fish, it's looking for a big, big meal. Think about humans, you know, as we're babies, we'll do anything for a little Cheerio. But nowadays, as you're, you know, if I'm an adult or you're an adult, you're not gonna go out of your way and get out of bed for a little Cheerio, you know. It's gotta be a nice juicy steak. So anyways, that's the thought process that I like to use out here. But without further ado, let's tie this heavy duty leader on and uh, start to test it out. Hopefully we can put a big old halibut on it. And already, before I even put it on, I just wanna say, I like the fact that Promar puts this little line keeper on there. Super convenient so the line just doesn't all fly off. I know that sometimes happens with other spools. One more thing while I'm tying this up. When I was launching my kayak this morning, I saw so much line just laying around at the launch. And uh, I just can't believe 
I mean, I, I hope, I'm hoping that was an accident, but man, super important to just take care of your line. You know, I'm cutting off all this old line. I usually like to do this at home so that I can just throw it straight into the trash, but when I'm out here on the kayak, I have a little compartment right here. You probably have never seen it on camera because it's a little bit out of the way, but I keep all this tag ends uh, in this little thing here. So when I get back to the launch, toss it all out. It doesn't get stuck out here in the ocean. I just hate to see all that loose line out there. I got a bunch of it at the, at the launch today. Okay, there's the setup. A little, I don't know what you call this. Basically a fish finder rig or a live bait rig is what I like to call it with a double hook, sliding snell on the bottom, one treble, one single on top. And then all I'm gonna do here is in one of these. I think I'm gonna put the sardine on this side. One hook through the nose one in the back. The one in the back I don't like to put too deep because I don't want to affect any of those spinal cord or anything. I want them to swim as lively as possible down there. And then once I got the hooks in just cinch it tight. Get it in the water while it's lively. Before I even put it down I'm going to set my drag. I can put it pretty tight because we got a heavy duty setup on here. We get a big fish. We shouldn't have any problem lifting it up off the bottom. If something bites through this, it's definitely not a halibut. I mean, halibut have sharp teeth, but they don't really have abrasive teeth in general. But if there's other fish down there, sharks, definitely lingcod are a little more abrasive. Um, yeah, all kinds of different, there could be anything down there. It's out, we're out in the open ocean here, so. Um, yeah, there's definitely other stuff that could bite through the line. So that's what I'm thinking might've happened to me last time, but. Hopefully we can find out. If I can land whatever it is, then we'll know. Okay. Look at that. Six of them. Every hook had one. Look at that. That's the big bait right there. That's the bait I was what happened there. Definitely had a bite on this side and then whatever it was just let go. And then I got something on this side. It doesn't really feel like a halibut though. It is a lean cock. Yeah, I had a feeling that was what that was. All right, quick release. The good news is that I get to test the abrasion resistance a little bit on this leader. And you're always gonna get some abrasion from a link cut. They have so many teeth in there, it's really abrasive, but it still looks pretty good. I mean, I can feel where the teeth are rubbing a little bit right here, but I mean, this is pretty heavy duty line. It should be okay, at least for now. I think this is still gonna be just fine. We're gonna drop it back down as is. I 
think this is the same lingcod I caught earlier. Yeah, this is the same one. It's got the same hook mark where I hooked him last time. And the reason I know it's the same one, look at this. Well, I didn't show the first one very closely, but if you look at the pattern there, we can match it with the first one. But the reason I know it's the first, the same one as the one I caught earlier is because one, it has the same little, I mean, I could see where I hooked it last time. There's a little hole in there. And also the one I hooked earlier had this like point of a hook in its mouth. And I don't know why I didn't take it out the first time, but it's still in there. It's the same one you can see there. It's like just the shank of the hook. Same fish. All right, we'll let him go again. Greedy little link cod. Hold up, I gotta go. All right, later. Oh man, something big just bolted this one up. Something big. I don't know what this is, but it's big. next to me over here just caught a huge shark so I'm, I feel like there's some sharks around yeah just looking at the abrasions like it doesn't look like the abrasions that I normally see after catching a halibut it's hard to describe but it just looks like shark teeth honestly just like hitting the line but the line held up it's definitely got some nicks in there I'm not gonna use this one again I'm gonna retie but um, yeah I think that was a big shark. Still remains a mystery, but I, I'm putting my money on shark, honestly. Before that, I was thinking maybe it were a big halibut, but it seems like the signs are pointing towards big shark, superfin shark or something. But anyway, we'll put another mackerel down. It's been a rather slow afternoon. We've had good bait down most of the day, um, but nothing much to show other than those couple ling cod, I think I had one other short strike, and then that, I, I think it's a shark, man. It's hard to say, I, I really wanna see it, so I, just so I can know, but um, anyway. We'll put it back down, see if we can get him this time. Hasn't been easy, but we'll see. Maybe this will be the one that makes it all worth it. Well, it felt good at first. I don't know. It's kind of coming in now. Oh man! The link cod. Third time today. 
Yeah, it's still got the scar, same thing. Yeah, this is the same fish. I've caught this fish three times today. That is wild. That's the same fish, 100%. You can even look at the pattern here. We'll, we'll compare it. The first time I didn't get a great picture of him, but the second time I definitely showed him to the camera. So we'll compare the pattern here. Definitely, I'm pretty sure this is the same fish I've caught three times already today. This fish is not learning his lesson. I don't understand. I never thought this would happen. I'm in the Pacific Ocean. I mean, this is the biggest body of water there is on planet Earth. And I somehow caught the same fish three times in a row. I feel like that's gotta be never done before. I don't know if that's really lucky, really unlucky or what, but I don't know. We'll let him go for the third time today. It's just a small, like it's not an impressive fish, the fish itself. It's just kind of a small link cod, borderline keeper. If we were in season, we're not in season right now. So I'm not trying to catch link cod, but I have been drifting, I mean, the similar area. So I guess that's just the king of the area. I mean, that, that fish is eating up all the baits that swim by. So come uh, link cod season, that fish is gonna get caught, I, I would guess. But anyway, I don't understand, literally, the biggest body of water known to mankind. Somehow, I caught the same fish three times in one day. Doesn't that fish have anywhere else to go? Oh man. All right, well, we'll get our line back in. Still looking for a halibut. It's been a tough day, like I said. I'm pretty sure, I don't think I caught any other fish besides that one. I caught it three times. Got that mackerel in the bottom of his throat there. I don't know if you can see that. All right, well, finally a different fish, but we'll let this one go. Here's that half of the mackerel. We've got another one on this side. It's probably a ling cut also. That's yeah, another ling. All right, that's definitely a different one. A little bit smaller this time. Unfortunately, I didn't get to put these to the test against a big halibut, which is what I originally wanted to do. Um, but I did put it to the test against quite a few lingcod and what I think was a really big shark, both of which are very abrasive and can easily bite through leaders if you don't have the proper gear. And it seems like these are holding up to the test. My initial thoughts are, looks like they got pretty good product here. But anyway, like I mentioned before, if you're interested in getting some for yourself, it should hit your local retailer around May 1st and then maybe their online store soon after that. But Anyway, shout out to Promar. Still a little bit mind blown that I caught the same fish out in the biggest body of water, the Pacific Ocean, three different times, all in one day. I don't know if it was just a really dumb fish, really hungry fish. Did look kind of skinny on the uh, video when I looked at, back at it. So maybe it was just super hungry. It was like a once in a lifetime type thing. I don't know about all of you back at home, but I feel like that's probably never gonna happen to me again. If anything like that has happened to you, let me know in the comment section. But other than that, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching.